Hey everybody, how's it going? Today we will be doing chapter 11 of Birthrights. Personally one of my favorite maps, mainly because of how it forces you to play aggressively as opposed to defensively. Anyway, let's get to our My Castle stuff and supports. So last map we got Mozu and Oboro up to B support. And then we got Hana and Satsuna to C support. And then Hinoka and Silas to B support as well. That's all we got. Everybody else is... Everybody else's support is where I want them to be right now. Huh? And by the end of this chapter, we should have two couples, as long as they don't get landed on by the wheel. Alright, without further ado, let's spin the wheel and get the show on the road. And we have a two, so we will shuffle twice. One, two. Alright, I'm going to spin in three, two, one. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, I mean, it could be worse. I'm just happy it didn't land on Setsuna. Because that would have been very bad. Silas, eh. At least we have someone to marry Hinoka to now. Or, I'm sorry. Someone to marry Jacob to now. Alright. Anyway. Back to the video. Alright, so I'm back from my preparations. And what I did was I gave a strength boosting meal. Cooked by Mozu to my units. I was mainly targeting Hana for this one because she needs a ton of strength. Because she's not very strong. I also gave Hana a strength tonic in case you didn't see. A defense tonic and a HP tonic. And those were all my preparations. So yeah, I'm just going to move my units into position and we will get started. All right, without further ado, let's get started. So first we are going to place Azama and Satsuna in range of this Malignite. Don't worry, even if they miss, it's the first turn of the map, so if all else fails, we could just restart. We are going to place Hana and Tsubaki up north here to deal with this Wyvern Rider. I don't know if they'll kill, but it should be relatively close to a kill at the very least, so they can just finish him off next turn. And then Ayato. And Sakura will go right here. They will suck right there. Alright. <sighs> At last. And there's one of our new units that we will be getting. In fact, our only unit that we will be getting in this chapter. I don't know why I worded it like that. And a corn pair up. And they're just going to start moving west. Just to help out with whatever else needs to be taken care of. Now Wazama and Satsuna will be taking care of this Kinchi Knight up in the north. Jacob will take the kill for this Wyvern Rider. Everyone is going to start moving west, all except for Oboro and Mosu, who are going to be taking care of the... Uh, Pegasus Knights, or Sky Knights, when they show up. Now I'm going to make a very aggressive move here, 
And this will only work if Tsubaki has a certain amount of defense. And this is a very risky move since they he has weapon triangle disadvantage against both of these wyvern riders. At this point, we should just make a tactical retreat with Tsubaki and Hana. The two of the Wyvern Riders are weak enough to, for Hana to kill anyway. Now what I should have done here is I should have left Jacob up to the northeast. And I should have had him heal um, Hana with it. But it's alright, it'll still work. At this point, the Pegasus Knights should be coming soon, so we should probably get Oboro and Mozu into position. Thank God for dual guards. If you couldn't tell already, yes, I do want to get Archer Jacob. I believe that is probably his best build in Birthright.
Wow, that one caught me off guard there. So I might as well say this now, we want the boss to move south. We don't want him to move east, because if he moves east, that puts him in a position where he can pretty much kill any of my units. And I don't want any of that. But if he moves south, that means we get a chance to attack first, and we get to kill him off before he can attack any of my units. This is highly RNG, I can't control this. If anybody knows how to control that, please comment below since this is something that's been really aggravating during this chapter. I love this chapter, don't get me wrong, but it's just one thing that's just makes it highly inconsistent. Oh yeah, of course we're getting the snake spirit. This turn, the boss will be moving, so we want to move Hayato up so he can at least try to uh, attack if we need him to. Unfortunately, things didn't work out the way I wanted it to. So we're going to have to make a tactical retreat. That's the issue with the boss going uh, east instead of south like we want to. Now we have to start over because the bitch couldn't move south. Alright, so I'm back to where approximately I died. I'm actually going to be promoting Subaki this map. I'm going to be promoting him to Kinchi Knight just so I have another bow user. Can't have too many, right? Since Hana's in vantage range, she will proc 
uh, advantage, and she will end up killing off both of these Sky Knights. So we don't need to worry about her health. In fact, we want it lower. Clean kill. Yes. I said we're getting that snake spirit. I know this isn't ideal, but I'm gonna wait for the Malignite to come up here and take it out on uh, player phase next turn. Please don't crit, please don't crit, please don't crit, please don't crit. I don't think I need to say anything. Giving Hayato his Ox Spirit makes him barely survive this. Thank God. At least I didn't die to a crit again, right? Last little bit of Azama and Hayato support to end off the map. This'll do it for this episode. Thanks for watching. If you liked it, please consider subscribing and liking the video. And that being said, I will see you in the next episode. Take care.